All right, buddy. It's been a while since we've done a coin toss. It has been. You want to do your honors? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so Arizona Whiskey Community. Shout out to you guys. Heads, tails? Yeah. Arizona flag tails? Which one's which? I don't know. We didn't decide. <laughs> <laughs>
111 proof. Okay. 111.8 proof. Uh, and there were only 893 bottles of this available. So, um, pretty small. I mean, subjective. <laughs> <laughs> what are we comparing it to? <laughs> um, since we just did a couple of uh, high proof bourbon, um, I'm going to pour a little small. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But we'll get into it. So this Some one of us actually, have to work tomorrow. Well, some of us work from home, so I can sleep in a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this one should not have much mesquite smoke in it. Nothing. No. None. Um, and then finished in sherry cask. So it really should be a uh, American style scotch, made in the scotch style, but yep. Uh, in America. That sherry influence is right on top Ooh, of the nose. Yeah, it really is. Yep. Um, that's like this is the fruitiest thing that that I've sampled from Delbach. Oh, okay. I didn't know where he was going with that. Um, yeah, a lot of fruit flavors up top. Um, like a red wine. And then... Actually, it kind of it reminds me of the Oban a little bit. A little bit. Um, and then I almost get like chocolate-covered fruit in there. Yeah, well, yeah. A little bit of chocolate. I th yeah. I, mm, I'm towing the line between a dark chocolate and kind of a light coffee. Okay. I'll give you that. It's that same kind of coin of bitterness, dark bitterness. Yeah, balancing bitter and sweet. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy the way that smells, though. We haven't had the classic on this channel. No, we haven't. Maybe we will. Someday. <laughs> Someday. Someday. Anyway. I swear, that's three times today. Yes. And not just you. Really? Yeah. No, that's funny. Yeah. Um, fruity... Um, red winey, kind of that chocolate bitterness in there, sweet bitterness in there. Yeah. Um, and then it's just that barley though. I mean, that's. I was gonna say it's it's rich. If that's yeah. A, yeah. Yep. It's another one. It's it's it's. I hate using the term bready or grainy because I don't feel like eventually after another fifty episodes I'll find the right term for that. But yeah. Yeah. It's uh. It's like it has grain in it. It's hearty. Hardy, that's a good one. Yeah? Yeah. I like Hardy. I'm ready if you are. I am. That reminds me of scotch. Yep. Like that's scotch. Yep. A um, little bit of smoke in there, but... A little bit. Not a ton. Almost, uh, I would say like Johnny Walker level of smoke. Yeah. If I was going to compare it to something. Yep. Real low, but just noticeable. Yeah. Um, there's that kind of, I'm going to call it sherry mustiness. Like, kind of. Yeah. Like peak notes. Yeah. Peak, uh, not peak. peak. Yeah. Uh, and then on the finish, it's like leather, um, tobacco. Yep. Oh, tobacco for sure, yeah. I'm not, leather not so much for me, but... But tobacco? Tobacco, 100%. That's interesting, because it goes from it goes from sweet on the initial palate to that kind of like sherry mustiness is the, is the only term I can think of. Go ahead. Sorry, two drops of water? Yeah. Takes that light coffee and boosts it to like a, a rich espresso. I think I miss with both of those drops. There we go. I got two drops, one finger that time. I said it. So with a couple drops of water, I think on the palate now, I get more of that leather tobacco. Um, yeah. Kind of... It almost, darkens the profile. Yeah, almost... Um, like a dark fruit. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, Don. I was in my own mouth trying to figure <laughs> out what I was saying. You do terrible things to your back. I mean, I'm very flexible. Sorry. <laughs> I do yoga. <laughs> yeah. Um, really uh, broadening your eyes in a yeah, yeah. quarantine, aren't you? This is one of the closest things to scotch I've had coming out of an Arizona distillery. Yeah. I would say any American distillery. This is probably one of the closest things to a... a I don't There's, know. The Fossil Creek was Fossil Creek pretty was, close to Lafroy. Lafroy, and then, yeah, 
You're gonna make me say it. This is better. This is better? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just seeing if there's anything on here. Roasted coffee bean, they call out on the back label. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, good. that was good. Good pick up there. Um, I see black cherry there, so that's a dark fruit. That's a dark you. fruit. I feel good about that. But you should. That real, I mean, that's a really strong cherry influence on there. Oh, hell yeah. Um, it shades of Dalmore. Shades of, I would say shades of Highland Scotch. That was so good. Thick and delicious. Go ahead. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> After dark. Anyway, all right. So that was spring 2021. Yes. Let's let's go back in time. Let's go. <laughs> let's del back. Let's del back. <laughs> let's del back to last winter, and let's take a look at uh, the uh, del back winter special release. Yes, I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm going to bring out a new glass too. Ooh, hey, good call. So. The winter special release is released on the first Saturday of every December and only available at the distillery. Yes. And if I remember, this was less than 500 bottles. Yeah, it was like 493 93 bottles. Yeah. Dang, you're, you're on top of it. And I, I waited in line. I got to think you did wait in line for it. Yeah. Uh, I also bought a sweatshirt because uh, I was cold that morning. So thank you, Delbach, for selling me a sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get me a sweatshirt. Um, do, do you want it? No. You want my sweatshirt? Sweatshirt? Sweatshirt. Can you say it right once? <laughs> Do you want my sweatshirt? No. Ooh, that's... That was a good one. That was really good. That was a really, really good one. It was. So, um, the Winter 2020 release is part of their Dorado mash bill, which is the mesquite smoked uh, malt. Which is, I mean, I, that's, I love the mesquite that's on this one. The, I, in my mind, that's the best thing they do. Um, how easy it is. Oh, that was good. You didn't spell anything. <laughs> no. The rumor is, and I can't find it anywhere than one article in one of the local Tucson newspaper, is that it is aged in ex Booker's bourbon casks. Okay. Oh, man, that is... There is everything from mesquite smoke whiskey to rye to Irish whiskey to an apple whiskey. Yep. Um, That's a hell of an infant that we've uh, cultivated. Man. Yeah, there's that wood. There's yep. that wood smoke again. Yep. I know you're always looking for some more wood. I am a big fan of wood. You asked to grab my wood. Yes. <laughs> and I will be. Out of my backyard <laughs> that I won't need anymore. Yes. Uh, it is tough to move his wood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, so I just mentioned um, Adventurous Stills, Fossil Creek being yes. really reminiscent of Laphroaig. This one is too. There's that, there's that smoke. There's that tiny little hint of like rubber, a little yeah. bit of antiseptic, which again, it in sounds gross, but I really, really enjoyed in the Laphroaig. In a good way. Yeah, in a good way. Um, and then I don't know if you, um, you called out on Smoke Wagon, but the tears coming down on this one here. Yep, real that's slow. A, that's Lazy tears. one. Yeah, that's... Actually, you know what? So give it a, give it a uh, vertical spin and then put it at 45. And you can see, you can watch them as they curve. Um, How slow and lazy they are. That's nice. Um, but yeah, so on the nose, that there's that mesquite wood again. Mm -hmm. And then there's like, a, there's like a rounding sweetness in there. Along with the it's antiseptic. And the, yeah. yeah. I mean, so I, I wanted to call out something other than what you had called out i got you <laughs> so <laughs> underneath everything although i mean like i wouldn't you and i tend to notice things up front differently yeah and that's just what i noticed first so yeah no i, I get that there's no i mean there's no shame and smelling that mesquite though is like <laughs> it reminds it's like smelling home to me like yeah i gotta tell you like i uh our buddy's got some mesquite that he chopped down last year. Yeah. I'm probably going to take some with me out to the East Coast just so yeah. I have, like, for, every now and again I can toss, like, a chunk in my smoker. Yeah. Oh, man. Be like, hey, this is real mesquite from the Southwest. Yeah. This is the real shit, man. <laughs> can't get this out here. Well, I can't get any other. Uh, I'm just going to finish it. that thought. I can't, I can't get wood out here. <laughs> but have for you, real. Have you tried asking nicely? No. Oh, see? Uh, but uh, so Tucson is in the middle of the, like this firewood shortage. So like all I can get is juniper, yeah. which I mentioned, and I'm not going to smoke with juniper because no. it's coniferous. Yeah. And I don't like meat eating wood either. 
All right, oh, are you ready? That was the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> we really need Dave Coulier to show up just once, just once when we're doing one of these one of these episodes, so he can just pop up from the middle with the woodchuck and just be like, "Did someone say world?" And, just leave. and we don't acknowledge it at all. So, uh, Mr. Coulier, if you have nothing to do <laughs> and you want to make like twenty bucks. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that reminds me a lot of just plain Dorado. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's got that one. It's bottled at higher proof. It's got the oomph from it's got the, the oomph. proof. Yeah. yeah. So this is 112 proof. Um, it does not sip like it, though. No, it's nice. It's almost got that cooling sensation. Um, yeah, a little bit. It. Yeah. Like, yep. That was nervous. I think that, so this is one where the higher proof actually comes through um, in the finish, which I'm noticing is actually uh, short to medium. Yeah. But a lot of that stays in the finish. So I think all that alcohol that you're breathing out is actually what gives you that cooling. Yeah. That's like a mesquite, mesquite fire sitting in your backyard. Dry. Just, yeah, definitely. Yep. Um, this, I, this reminds me a lot of the Laphroaig. Yeah. Yep. Not, I mean, the flavors, like the Laphroaig flavors are way higher in this. Yeah. I think this has got much more of like that. There's a lot more. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more of the malted barley. Yeah. Um, smoke is, is much more subdued. That smoke is, it's like I'm right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you're right in front of the fire. Yep. Dry just, air, heavy smoke. Yeah. Uh, makes me wonder, and we didn't touch on this in the Lefroy, Lefroy episode. Lefroy is aged in X Maker's Mark barrels. Yep. And I wonder if that marriage of that peat smoking process with bourbon barrels, if this is, because this is made with Booker's, theoretically made with Asian Booker's barrels. Mm -hmm. Uh, or finished in Booker's Barrels, with Lefroy being finished in Maker's Mark Barrels. I wonder if there's a parallel there. Uh, but, all right, so, yeah, if you want to draw some parallels there, like, yeah, I could absolutely see that. Um, but, man, I really... I'm, so, I'm a sucker for the Dorado. I'm a sucker for the Mesquite Smoked. Yeah. Um, and this is... I mean, this is the Dorado with extra punch. Yep. And you know what? I can absolutely... I 100% understand why this was a winter release oh yeah because i want i wish it was still cool out yeah i don't know i don't know when this is going to air but it's about midway through march right now yeah we've got cool i don't know what's wrong with my are you okay no we had a cold front just come through the cold front just entered i think it was 85 yesterday so like a bubble stuck in my throat it's warming up yeah um, so we've got coolish nights yeah well uh I'd say locals probably don't have their windows open, but I certainly do. But, I mean, you know, days are getting warmer. 80, 85 degrees. You want some water? I'm going to add water to this and see what it does. Okay. Um, yeah, I I wish it was cooler out. I would love to be sitting in cold air around a big fire. Hell, even if I even, even if I just got my smoker running. Yeah. Yep. This, this is... This is a de I, that's all I'm trying to say. I understand why... It's a winter release because yeah. it just makes me crave winter. Um, this this does make me wish, like, the one time in 10 years where it, there's a decent amount of snow on the ground here. Mm -hmm. um, and just, yeah, sipping this, watching the snowfall. Oh, you going to try that and tell me if I should do it as well? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Taste is pretty much the same. It doesn't, it doesn't equalize anything. Yeah? It just kind of cuts that alcohol bite. Meh. Nah. So I won't bother. There's no. Um, Thanks for taking one for the team. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I don't know what bottle I just kicked, but it's like the way I did that. I would have done it with you if you had warned me. Yeah, I'm spur of the moment, man. Living on the edge. Yeah. So, all right. I like both of these a lot. I do too. I still like the fall distillers cut. Like that's. That That's was, that was my peak. That has set. I gotta put my pants up because I forgot I built. That has set a bar for me for Delbach because mm -hmm. it yeah. was just a rich like 
meatiness to that. Like, yeah. It's the only whiskey I've had where I've been like, this is a steak. Like, I'm drinking a steak right now. Yeah. I, yeah. All right. I can see that. Uh, and it's just like, it's on a pedestal. Yep. For sure. Put the whiskey on a pedestal? I put the whiskey on a pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't drink it. Yeah. I don't even think we should do a banner for this one because, again, it's they're relatively limited releases and they're really only available local to Tucson. Uh, they had it up, up as far as Phoenix, and then I think they had a limited amount on maybe Drizzly or okay. one of those type of sites. Um, but it was a limited amount. For the distiller's cuts? For the distiller's cuts. For the winner's release, yes, it is only, only available to Tucson. Yeah. And you have to line up at the distillery. Yeah. Um, so really, I mean, this is just, <laughs> this is one of our <laughs> Del Bach. I it's one of our Delbacles. Yeah. <laughs> this whole episode has been a Delbacle. Yep. We're a brown-nosing Delbach. I really, really like Delbach. I mean, I'm, yes. I've been so happy living here ever since I, d I discovered them. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to buy a case of the Dorado to bring back with me. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm glad we could do this before you left. Kind of like a, a kick, like a, yeah. like a send-off. Like I like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have like a series of send-offs to do before I go. Well, yeah, but this was... But like I'm the, glad that we were able to get this one in. This is the send-off debacle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, for some reason, like what you saw here, <laughs> give us a like, give us a subscribe, comment down below. Have you tried... I mean, if you're local to Tucson, have you tried any of the Dell Box, any of the Distiller's Cuts or special releases? Yeah. What did you think? Um, as always, we take suggestions. Um... We're going through a transition right now, so comment down below um, anything you want. Uh, anything you want to see us try. You know what? Once we start doing the podcast, if you want to join us for a couple drinks, like we're, it's really just going to be voice chat and Discord, which we encourage you to join. Yes. But that's how we're going to maintain uh, our podcast with 3,000 miles between us. Yes. Uh, uh, so, yeah, if you want to join amazing. us for an episode, please uh, sign up at our Discord and uh, put yourself on the waiting list. And we'll add you. Yeah. <laughs> It's really just going to be us drinking for an hour and shooting the shit, so <laughs> you'll fit right in. Yes. <laughs> I accidentally worded the table again. You did. That was an accident. Is that all we got? I think it is. Okay. Comment down below. And no matter how you like your whiskey, that's the right way.